All right, well, I know you still got a few more songs about death and suicide and murder. And, so I better pick it up here or something. <laughs> yeah, I was going to do something sad and awesome and depressing, but I think they'll lose half the crap. <laughs> Alright, pick it back up. Um, now, uh, we, uh, there's a little place outside of town, a little bit of a right, up to this hill where we can uh, have a little cabin up there and write songs. And JR was up there, we wrote a lot of songs up there, and you know, he's written all these great you know, songs that have been, uh, been part of Grammy award winning bands and <laughs> amazing songs. Then we wrote his first number one together. And, uh, it's uh, probably not going to get inscribed on the walls here or the, the Hall of Fame anywhere, uh, but it was a fun song to write. And um, Mitch is one of my favorite hangouts that's no longer around anymore in this town. Anyone here ever go to Silverado's back in the day? Yeah? You did. Back before Nashville got all big and famous and cool, Silverado's was the only place you could actually drink on a Sunday. Nothing else was open. So uh, you go down to Silverado's and. And uh, found a way to slide that into this song. So it yeah, will go there tonight. If they, if they open it back up again, or if it's still shut down. You wouldn't. <laughs> I think a key A. All right. Just like every weekend, I was ready to throw down. Yeah, get a little tour up, so I call my bros up to meet me out on the town. Go out, man, or Willie said he'd like to, really, but I was on TV. And Ray had a date with his wife, and they quit drinking, but he didn't tell me. Am I the only one who wants to have fun? Get it on, am I 
Thanks for the Thanks for We had way too much fun writing that song, and I'm, uh, I'm actually very, very proud that I got my first number one with this guy right here. He's one of the best artists I've ever worked with in this town.